Hello everybody, it's me again, and welcome to another episode, episode 12, 13 I think, of Black Flag Shenanigans. I have officially completed single player story mode. And I am terribly upset about it. I have not felt this sad about completing such a fantastic game ever. Ever. Oh my fucking god, I love this game. And our adventures are going to continue in it! But for now, the story is over. And I am not going to say anything. Except that it ends... Really, really, really well. And it made me cry. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So, let's do some open world shenanigans. And since we're here in Great Inagua, which is our hideout, we are going to... Do some stuff. And we're gonna start with this viewpoint. Oh my god, I want to keep ranting about how much I loved the story of this game, even though I was ranting about it for like the last 45 minutes to an hour while watching the credits. I want to say more, but I can't because these are spoiler-free episodes, so I'm just going to shut my mouth. And oh my god, I'm still, I still have that feeling in my heart. That feeling of like a satisfying ending, but you're still really sad that it's over. Like, you're happy it ended the way it did, but you're still sad that it had to end. That feeling is, like, in my stomach, in my gut, in my heart, in my brain. It's just everywhere. It's enveloping my entire existence. What are you doing? Okay, nice. Unnecessary, but nice. Oh, that's right. The assassins are here now. I won't say why, but they are. Okay. This is not a viewpoint! Son of a bitch. Okay. And after this, we're going to try and find some Mayan Stellas. How the hell do I get up there? Because I haven't found any of those in open world shenanigans at all. I also haven't harpooned any whales, and I haven't harpooned a great white... Thanks, Edward. I haven't harpooned a great white shark, which I want to do. And we have some more diving bell missions to do. We can upgrade the jackdaw 100%. Maybe hunt down some man of wars, synchronize some viewpoints, and just be an amazing person. That is Edward Kenway. A fantastic person that came a long way in his ambitions, and I fucking love him. I think he's my new favorite protagonist. Mostly because Ezio was so perfect. He didn't have, like, any flaws at all. He was just like, it was like, hey, what do you think of Ezio? Oh my god, I love Ezio, he's amazing! And then it's like, okay, well, what do you think of Edward? Oh, I love Edward because... Not just, oh my god, Edward's awesome, I love him because he's awesome. He has several reasons as to why I love him and care for him, and think of him as an actual human being that could have entirely existed, not being a flawless hero protagonist like Ezio was. Even though Ezio was awesome, but still. You get my point. If you aren't a blind Ezio fanboy, you get my point. So, where are we gonna go? There's no Stellas on this freaking island. God dang it, I was hoping there was one. But, let's just go ahead and clear out this island. We're gonna start over here with this cadaver. We're just gonna clear out this island. Hello, assassins, my friends. Look at you. <laughs> Look at that. That's so funny. These assassins, what do they do on their days off? There's your answer. <laughs> I mean, besides what I'm doing, overworld shenanigans. Well, now the joke's just ruined. God damn it. I think I have to go up here. Because that is, like, beyond the cliffs. What is that? Hold on. That, that, that cove area? Not cove, but, like, that area with the waterfalls and the rainbow? What does that look like at night? And what the hell is in here? Wow. Hello, sir. You died with the old rum. <gasps> Can I have your hat? That tricorn hat? Oh my god, I want one. Treasure map. Gray sails. Cool. I like my red ones, but thank you. 633, 784. That's... 
That's Jacas's hideout. That's that's here. Isn't it? It's by a log right on the edge of the water. Behind the house. Is that here? Or is that another house? Could that be Lauren's Princess Mansion? No, I'm not even close. 633 to 780 something. Let's check that again. <laughs> no, not that one. Not that one. That one. 784. Okay. I was right. Haha. <laughs> okay. Well, that's cool. Yeah, we got a cadaver. God, I love this game. I love this game so much. <laughs> this is a game like Tomb Raider, where after I beat the story, I went back and beat it again like four more times, and even went around and 100%ed the entire world, like collecting everything. I did that twice. Ah. <sighs> This world is so immersive and fantastic, and Ashraf Ismail, Corey May, Darby McDevitt, everyone involved in making this game, you are my new idols and personal heroes. I fucking love you. There. I said it. Alright. Let's go back into my house. It used to be to Ducasse's house, but screw you, it's not yours anymore. Okay. I'm going out here, it seems. A beautiful island. Over by the water wheel! And the enemy's fragments over there on my left. Okay, it's behind the water wheel. <laughs> I want to say something so bad, but it is very much spoiler story related, so I'm not going to say it. If you guys want me to, like, discuss parts of the story during these open world shenanigans things and not make them spoiler free. I can just put like an indicator in the title and in the description that lets you know that there are spoilers. Um, but until I know whether or not you guys actually want me to talk about that stuff, then I'll just keep my damn mouth shut. Let's head over here. There's a shanty here. I wonder which one it is. One of my favorite shanties that I discovered like not before the game came out. Like, I discovered it through... I think Actually, no, just kidding. I think it was on my soundtrack. Um, is Good Morning Ladies All. I love that song. It's so happy. We are outward bound for Kingston Town with a heave-ho. Oh. Something, 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 something. Good morning, ladies all. I love that song. HOW DO I GET OVER THERE?! How the shit? Okay, random constipation noise. I keep wanting to say things! But they're story related! I keep catching myself at the last second. Alright, here we go, I remember this. I think. The shit. Yeah, okay. There is a chest. In here! Ow. There's the Stella. I'm saying that because of Seinfeld. But any other Seinfeld fans out there, you know why I'm saying it. <laughs> Alright, and there's the Shanty. Don't go just yet. Okay, now go. There. Come back here, you. I want your song. Yay. Which one did I get? One of two shanties. Oh, wow, I'm surrounded by chests. Let's see, what's the song? The Wild Goose. I do not know that shanty. How on earth do I even get to these other chests? <laughs> wow. Um, hmm. Looks like I can maybe go over here and to the right. Maybe. Wow, nice job, Edward. Oh, the rain with like the golden light and the lightning. Oh my god, this world is amazing. This world is- oh shit, oh shit, oh god, oh god, oh god. 
Okay, just kidding. I meant to do all of that. And chest. Now the question remains, how the hell do I get out of here now? Trees. <laughs> I keep replaying the ending in my head. And the fact that I can't say anything about it makes it all the more worse. <sighs> I'm just gonna say, I love Edward more than Ezio because it helps to remember what Edward used to be before his character growth. And knowing that he overcame what he knew was wrong, but used to just do anyway because he wanted to. And then grew a conscience about it. It wasn't just like, oh, Edward was... No, not Edward, excuse me. Ezio was a good guy, and he always was a good guy, so nothing needed to change because he started out perfect. It wasn't that at all. And I love that. Oh, we got a ship right here. And I'm betting I can access the chests from it. So I'm gonna go up here... Up the nose. Hello! Made it. And the chests are right here. Haha! -ha! Brilliant. Eh. Eh. There. Silver pocket watch. Yay. Alright, now where am I going? <laughs> I'm kind of stuck on a cliff and I don't know how to get wherever, but uh, let's go down here. Not a whole lot of interesting stuff in this. I just want to clear out this island. Well, that would make for a leap of faith, but I don't want to do one. Unless that's how I get down and around. I think it is. Yeah, okay. Just kidding. Okay. I'm back! And the sun is coming out. Ah. <sighs> Sigh of contentment. This game was and is amazing, and you can bet your buttocks I'm going to be going back and playing it again. Going for full sync and all that stuff. If you guys want to see me go back and get full sync on all of the missions that I didn't get full sync on, and believe me, there are quite a few, um, I can do that. If not, then I'll just do it on my own time. Either way, it's going to happen, so... Oh, this is where I first... Just kidding. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say a single word. Because I can't! Son of a bitch. Oh, there's a chest up here. Oh, wow! There's a way to climb up here. I didn't even see this. Auto save. Fragment! Oh, there was a navel drop on the beach. God dang it. Missed it. Oh, well. Oh, fuck me. Ah, ah! <laughs> Calm down. Oh my god. Scary. Get up. Hit. Jump. Over. Jump. There we go. I am very excited to hear what location they choose for AC5. And who the new protagonist is gonna be. I am very excited. But, I still feel like I can wait, because this game was so unbelievably fantastic. I climbed across past the chest, didn't I? I did. Son of a bitch. But, I mean, like, despite being really excited about seeing where the franchise is gonna ouch go next, I feel like I can wait. I feel like I can be patient to figure out, good freaking lord, what happens next. It was a very satisfying ending. And I loved it. I loved it. One of my favorite uh, one of my favorite game endings ever. I wouldn't say the ending to Walking Dead Episode 5 was one of my favorites because it completely shattered my heart. And it really made me feel severely depressed for like the next week after. <laughs> I don't know if that'd be one of my favorite endings. However, it was, I guess, in context, a good ending. I don't even know what my favorite ending is. This might even just be my favorite ending. I- because I can't think of any other endings right now. now. Let's see. Shanty and chest. Two more chests. Let's just check this thing. Two more chests, one song sheet, one animus fragment, and I'm missing a secret, wherever that is. Let's go. 
iguana. Deja vu. Sorry. Stabby stab. I also need to hunt more, too, to fully upgrade Edward. Just kidding, Edward. Can you turn around? Turn around. Thank you. Go back. I made a mistake. I want to go that way. So get down, man. Thank you. I want to go this way. Oh, fuck me, albino. What the hell is that? Holy fucking shit. Oh! Jesus fucking Christ, cat! I hate your very soul! I can't hit it! Oh, thank god I got it. It would have killed me. If it came back to try and get me again, it would have killed me. But you made me lose the shanty, you goddamn cat! <sighs> I hate you. I got a white jaguar. I wonder how much that sells for. Or what I can upgrade with it. Can I upgrade with that? I missed the goddamn shanty. Stupid freaking cat. God dang it. How long does it take for shanties to respawn? I don't know that just yet. A few minutes, I think, at least. But I don't want to leave this island without 100%ing it. Because, like, I literally... Ugh. God dang it. Oh my god, that stupid cat. Stupid cat! Here's the thing. Oh! That was the worst tar- That was like a Tarzan gurgle cry. That was weird. Okay. Jumpy jump, ow. And let's go get this chest wherever it is. <gasps> Did I find it? Because it's not nighttime anymore, but oh, I found it. And there's a permanent infinite rainbow there. Oh my god. Oh, and then the music kicks in. Oh my gosh. You are literally gonna kill me, game. I'm gonna die of a freaking heart attack. Or I'm gonna die because seriously, it just doesn't get any better than this. Can't outdo that. And then I'm just gonna die. This game is so beautiful! <laughs> Visually and metaphorically, it's just beautiful. Everything about it is so freaking pretty and amazing and inspiring and oh my god, I want to make video games for a living. I want to make games like this for a living. I want to. I sincerely want to. Speaking of which, I only have another five days until my game design course starts. Yay! Oh man. Oh man. Oh my god. How about not? Oh my god. Long drop. <sighs> oh my god! <sighs> Did it. That was scary. But also awesome. What's up here? Oh, I see. This is where I came from. I am on an area of the island. Like, I don't even know. Oh, wait. Hold on. I think I might just be a retard. And I think I know how to get to that chest now. I think I'm definitely a retard. Oh, and the navel drops down here. So while we're down here, I might as well get that. There it is. Hello? Owie. God, the storm is moving in again. Weather, but stormy weather, voice when the wind blows, we're all together. Something, something, something that not there by steady she goes. <laughs> okay. On the right track again, kind of. I just I got up to the waterfall area, iguana, and just turned around and went the other way. What the hell, iguana head? Okay. Floating voodoo iguana remains. That's weird. Let's just keep going and ignore that. Yay, unnecessary parkour. Hurrah. I'm happy I get to run through this area without having to worry about guards now. I mean, kind of worrying about guards was really fun. I mean, the stealth in this game was fantastic. It felt really good. I loved the stealth in this game. It was the first legitimate stealth with the new game mechanics, technically, since AC3 didn't have a whole lot of stealth. I mean, it did have stealth, but it wasn't exactly stealth-friendly, 
per se. Where am I going? Am I going the right way still or not? I don't even know. I think I am. I don't even know, though. Yes, I am. Okay. <sighs> Every time I come across this area, I always think of that uh, Half Moon Run song, Full Circle. I love that song. You appear even tempered though your lips are deceived And the sparks are always flying cause you drink for relief With the heart of a child and the wit of a fool It's a wonder why I don't try to build a wall around you And I watch as your head turns full circle I love that song so much. It's been a while since I've listened to it. And I love it. I should listen to it again. Most definitely I should listen to it again. Okay, almost there. Oh, it's close though. I'm not gonna parkour. No need. Chest is probably gonna be on the ground. And it's probably back here. So we're gonna get up on the log. There we go. And go over to the chest. Hopefully by now the sea shanty has respawned. Ow. Oh, you're back here in your own little corner. Aren't you special? Yay, I got all chests! And I believe... Yep, I just have the Songshi and the Secret left. I don't know if this will be an extended episode of Open World Shenanigans, or if I'll cut this out so it'll be even, I don't know. But nevertheless, we are going to... You know what? Let's go for the Secret next. And I forget which way is the way out here. Uh, it's this way. Wow, I am like nowhere near it. <laughs> And I have no means of fast traveling over there either, son of a bitch! Oh, that's what those are. Cove upgrades. I should probably do that. Even so, how the balls am I going to get back over there now? Can I sail my ship to the other side of the cove? Sorry, woman. Alright, we're back where we started. <laughs> This island is beautiful, but not, <laughs> I mean, certainly takes a while to get from one end to the other, let's just say that. What is, oh, that's the Templar armor, which I need to find the four of the keys, which I'm betting I do through the Templar hunt missions and crap. Let's go over here and upgrade the cove while we're over here, just because. Just because. Okay. This still doesn't quite feel like hope. I wouldn't say it does. Facade. Sure. Oh, it looks so pretty now. Awesome. Yay. Alright, well that's all we'll do for now, I guess. I was gonna I was figuring the upgrades would be different than that, but they're not, which is cool. And let's keep going for the secret and song sheet. All right, we're going to retrace our steps and go through here. Oh, now that is a view to walk out to. Oh, I love this game! I keep saying it so much. But it's like, it's not even just because of the fact that it's Assassin's Creed. I mean, that's really just bonus points. Just like the open world and all the stuff you can do about it. And the characters and the history. Like, oh my god. My freaking... It's one of the best games ever made. And I love it. So much. You're gonna hear me saying that a lot. Even though you've already heard me say it a lot, you're gonna hear me say it even more. <laughs> Alright, well now the bottle's below me. It's on an island, like, out near the shore. So how the frickity frackin' balls- Alright, here's the shanty. Mm, no, it's over here. <laughs> Don't do that, Edward. Now, if that white jaguar responds and screws me over again, I'm just gonna freaking. ARE YOU SERIOUS?! I WAS TOTALLY SAYING THAT SARCASTICALLY! FUCK YOU, CAT! 
Oh god, I hate you so much! Get off! I missed. Ah! I hate you so much. Oh great, now I- Smoke bomb! Smoke bomb! Ah! Okay, I got it caught in the cliff. Ah! It's gonna kill me, it's gonna kill me, it's gonna kill me! Have some of that in your life! Reload the gun, reload the gun, reload the gun, reload the gun. Oh my god, are you serious? I was totally being sarcastic th thinking the cat would respawn. I was totally being completely sarcastic. I wouldn't think it would actually respawn. And it did. Fuck my life! Okay, well at least I have full health again. Where are you, cat? I see you, fuckhead. Screw you! You almost caused me that shanty again. Skin the damn thing. There we go. Now I have two white jaguar pelts. Yay! Let's get the shanty. Yay, I got it. All right, now we can go back and get the secret, which is the last thing I need to get. Which shanty did I get this time? I got... Whiskey Johnny! Yay! I like that one. That one's awesome. Yeah, I just need to leap of faith down this way. I was right next to it, and I didn't even look at my map. God freaking... Oh, no, I was nowhere near it. But at least I can see it from up here. Now I have an idea of where I need to go. Good. Scary leap of faith again! Okay, now we're going to swim over here. I could swim around the rocks, but I don't feel like it. I'm gonna parkour through this hole again. I will say, this is kind of spoiler, but not really. But I want to say it. I am really happy that I didn't get to witness what happened to Steed Bonnet. I am really happy that we didn't get to see that. Measure the bottle! Let's pick this thing up! After this, I have 100% of great in agua, except for the upgrades. Okay. And yeah, I'm excited. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, we found the first one! On my name and origin. To any and all who may read this missive, know first that I am Tom... Kavana, Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh, probably, born in 1652, formerly of Boston, now of the world, living in the year 1706, taken to isolation long ago in the place of my ancestors in pursuit of peace and steadiness of spirit. My story is a singular one, though I make no claim to greatness or nobility, yet there is such an amount of strangeness in my blood it bears mention, with the wish that a better understanding may come from my situation and with the hope that, if there be any others in the world who suffer the same perturbations of mind as I have since birth, they might find in me a kindred soul and a friendly voice to guide them to the calmer shores of sanity. The frick? I thought this might be someone that we met in the story, but it's not. I don't even know who the hell this guy is. In plain words, I was born a creature of two souls, one being my own, newly minted and fresh upon the world stage, yet the other being an old and wise thing. A soul as old as the universe itself may be. Two souls, therefore, in a single body, competing for supremacy. For as long as I have been thinking being, a thinking being, been a thinking being, yes, I have the, I felt these two tides stirring within me. How this mysterious incorporation should have occurred shall be the subject of future letters. So was this guy another sage? Maybe? Possibly? Perhaps? Could have been. I want to see Whiskey Johnny. They listen in alphabetical order, which is good. Wild Goose. Yep, don't know that one. Whiskey is the life of man. Pretty sure I said that wrong, but yeah. Whiskey is the life of man. There we go. That's how it goes. Okay. I have a hundred percent in Great Inagua. Now I gotta find my way back to my godforsaken ship. <laughs> God damn it. And we're gonna sail out in the ocean for a little bit. Oh, I can fast travel to the viewpoint. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I've run back and forth a lot on this island. I'm just gonna say fast travel back to my freaking ship. 
But yeah, that concludes this episode of, uh, episode whatever this is, of Black Flag Shenanigans. The first one since I have concluded the story. And there is my beautiful ship. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like and favorite if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in episode number whatever comes next. <laughs> Farewell, friends.